is like nine o'clock almost and I'm on the way for a train and I'm walking really fast because I'm a little bit late. But this morning I have a photo shoot in London. So I'm on a mission. It's really cold. I don't know if you can see. all the health and then it almond milk cappuccino and these do the best almond milk cappuccinos in the world like in the world so Jade I want mm -hmm. you to look straight ahead for me please and we are going to examine the face so the first thing we look at is straight on Jade has a heart shaped face so first thing I want to do is put some really good numbing cream on your lips don't get it on the inside of your mouth because it's gonna it's gonna taste pretty gross. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we're just gonna do a, a little linear thread going through here. Sharp scratch coming in. Done. Well done. Oh my god, it doesn't hurt at all. Okay. So for our back workout today, we are gonna do four sets. First set, 15, the next set, 12, the next set, 10, and the next set, eight reps. Starting off with a wide grip lat pull down, going into a narrow grip lat pull down. Now you should be going heavier with the eight reps than you did on the 15 reps, if that makes sense. But I will leave it all down in the comments for you. Our third exercise is a narrow grip low row, again doing four sets with the same reps. And then our fourth exercise is a wide grip row. And to finish off, I just did some assisted pull-ups, but this workout is perfect if the gym is busy because you can just kind of stay in one area and get a really, really great workout. If you did like this video or you do try it, please let me know. Give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I really love when you guys try my workouts, both girls and guys. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and see what I get up to. So I just finished up in the gym and it's about 6 o'clock now. I'm in a very busy station, but now I have a really exciting event with Miss Guide now and I'm literally going to rock up in gym kit and hope for the best, but I'm going to bring you with me. I think it's a Christmas party as well, which is exciting, so let's go to the Miss Guide event. 
don't even know guys. I do not even know. Well this escalated quickly. <laughs> I'm just at the misguided event. Well it hasn't started just yet. We're just up in a suite and I've got this little cute outfit on. And then the party starts in like an hour I think. So like there's just loads of girls getting glammed up in a suite. <laughs> Such a contrast to the gym. But just gonna like see what's about, maybe get my nails done, something like that. And then Lauren's coming, so I get to see Lauren. I swear we're the only two fitness bloggers here with a bunch of models. But that's fine. It's fine. Guys, look at this bathtub right here. And the shower. Hi Lauren. I'm just loosening all the pokey balls. <laughs> this is my obese rhino face. Hey guys, so we left the party and I've come to get more food. So I've got turkey and veggies. I'm such a loser. <laughs> so it is 10 to 10 and I have just got home because I am a grandma and I just wanted to come home to Harry and watch I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Such a loser but Lauren and I were at the event. It was so much fun by the way. It was so cool and it started snowing while we were there <laughs> and Lauren and I were just like should we bounce and we bounced. Um, but it was really really fun. I usually hate going to events because I get loads of anxiety over them and I just prefer to like stay in the house but it was actually really fun to socialize and mingle and meet new people and eat some good food. <laughs> Lauren had four poke balls. Four. Um, but now I'm gonna watch I'm a Celebrity turn this football off the TV. Now I'm going to watch I'm a Celebrity and then tomorrow Harry and I are going into London for the day which is so exciting because we never ever do that do we? Never. When was the last time we did that? We lived in London. Oh yeah we lived in London for like a year but we never like go in and do stuff in there anymore in my opinion and um, but I really love my hair guys I'm so so happy with it I went to this new place which is always really scary when you go to a new hairdresser's girls you'll understand it's like super blonde but like it still feels really healthy and yes, I love it so, so much. And um, so I can't recommend that place enough. It's in Hampstead. And yeah, now I'm probably gonna make a smoothie and then watch I'm a celebrity. Hee <laughs> hee. By the way guys, this is our Christmas tree so far, but soon we will have a big one. Hello darling, I'm so Yay! Sorry about that. Hey guys, it's a couple of days later because I wanted to wait a few days just for everything to kind of settle and start working before I kind of sat down and talked to you guys about it. So as you saw in my vlog, I went to a place called Harley Academy Clinic and the location I went to was in Canary Wharf. And I love being able to share experiences with you guys and just kind of like be honest and authentic because for me that's like so important on my channel. And just in life, like I'm always just myself and people can kind of accept me for who I am and what my choices I suppose. If you've watched my Q&A in the past, I talked about when I had fillers. I had lip fillers a year ago and I had them in the top and bottom lip, but this time I didn't touch the top lip at all. I just have a wonky smile. I know it's so little, but when you have like insecurities, you always notice them, if that makes sense. But I'm really happy with like the shape of my lips and stuff and I didn't really wanna like make them any bigger, but I did wanna correct the left hand side but I didn't get anything in the top and then I also got Botox in between my eyebrows and my forehead because I found that I would look in the mirror and I would have huge lines here from when I was editing my YouTube videos and like staring at a screen for a long period of time and so I really wanted to like prevent that if that makes sense from getting worse so that's why I did that. I'm very happy with the result but yeah I wanted to be honest and like I don't know, share and not pretend. It takes a few days for the Botox to kick in and I just got it up here. So you can see, I can't really frown. And then here, I can't frown at all, which is perfect because I was getting huge lines there every time I like stared at the screen. And this only lasts about four months, I think. And then this can like last up to a year, but the faster your metabolism, the faster fillers break down in your lips and stuff. So that's why a year ago I had this done and that's why I had it done again. 
I'm not promoting like surgery and things like that but it's like you do you and I don't see it as any different from getting like false nails or false lashes or anything like that as long as you go somewhere that's really good and you're doing it for you to make you happy that's most important so yes I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're new here hit that subscribe and I will see you guys in my next vlog bye